Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lou Presents on HottyTotty.com. I'm Madison Scarpino. And I'm Kristen Bentley. Oxford Pride 2019 is finally here and will be kicking off this Sunday, April 28th with an award ceremony and gala at the Powerhouse. Awards will celebrate local members of the LGBTQ community as well as allies who have helped advocate along the way. Multiple other events will be held throughout the week to celebrate, including an alumni luncheon, a pride parade, drag show, and a community softball game to wrap everything up on May 5th. I think that this is a great way to you know, show everyone that Oxford is a diverse community and to make sure that everyone feels included. Yeah, and I think also it's really nice to kind of break the stereotypical image of what people think of when they do think of the South. So Absolutely. it should be a great weekend. Super excited. In other news, the Ole Miss baseball team will be taking on the Auburn Tigers this weekend at Swayze Field. This is sure to be an interesting matchup as Auburn is currently ranked number 16 and Ole Miss fell to number 26. We all know the Rebels are doing really, really great this season as they usually always do, but I do think that beating Auburn this weekend would just take them over the top, so best of luck to the Rebels this weekend. Another event that's sure to bring in a big crowd this weekend. If you want to see live boxing, be sure to buy tickets to the Fight Night at the Lyric this Saturday. The doors open at 7 o'clock and the boxing will begin at 8. Springtime is a lot of people's favorite time here in Oxford because there's always so much to do, so much going on. Double Decker is next weekend, and that is, as we all know, one of the most popular weekends in Oxford. Yes, I'm so excited to see what this Can't year wait. has in store for us. We have some amazing performers coming, like musician Emily King, who toured with groups like Maroon 5 and with Sarah Bareilles on Saturday. And then Saturday night, we'll see music from the CMA-nominated artist Jason Isbell and the 400 unit, as well as many more. Not to mention all the incredible food that they have there. I will be hitting up every single food truck there is. Yes. and all the beautiful artwork as well. So Super excited yes. for that. Speaking of music, the modern queen mother, Beyonce, has dropped her next solo album titled Homecoming, and this is unlike anything we've seen from her before. Now, this is a surprise drop just like her last solo album, Lemonade, was, but this is a little different because it's a live album in the form of a two-hour documentary that is available on Netflix. It dropped on Wednesday night unannounced, but of course, anything Beyonce does, people listen. She has a super dedicated fan base, the Beehive. I watched it myself, and I know that it is incredible, and uh, definitely recommend that you watch it. Yeah, they don't call her the queen for no reason. I mean, she has just stayed on top since the beginning. There really wasn't a time where she wasn't just a superstar. Yeah, she's always been relevant, always been in the spotlight from Destiny's Child to today, so Good for Beyonce. Yeah, good for her. Well-known Today Show host Hoda Kotb announced that she adopted her second child named Hope Catherine Kotb. The announcement comes a day after Hoda posted a photo to Instagram reading, Choose Hope. This is such amazing news for her, especially considering that Kathy Lee Griffin just left their segment on the Today Show. Hoda is 54 years old and still able to make this change in her life. I think it's incredible and really shows that there's no age limit on when you can start a family and you can put your career first and then still be able to make these changes in your life after that. Yeah, especially incredible because Hoda is a cancer survivor, so I think it's amazing that she can you know, overcome and just really show that you know you can grow from so much you know destruction. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Blue Presents. As always, be sure to follow HottyTotty.com on all social media to stay up to date with the latest and be on the lookout for our next show. Which is our last show of the semester, so please tune in. Yay!